All right, everybody, this will be a warning to all politicians. I'm running for president 2024, and I believe this is part 40, this will be a quick one. Um, if you go and watch Anthony Brian Logan uh, video um, about COVID-19, you'll, you'll see one of the ways they play with numbers. Um, so if if there's more people who are infected that they don't know about and going around who, who've had it with no symptoms, they've already said that you can have it and not have any symptoms. There's, there's more out there that, than they know it. So the ratios on the, on the death rates compared to those who've who they tested or who've just gotten sick from it uh, would, would seem alarmingly high. If you get it, oh my God, you're going to die type thing that they've done and been doing. Um, if you look at the, those ratios compared to, you know, the deaths compared to those they've tested or, or those who've reported in sick, it, it, you know, it would seem like, you know, they had 20,000 cases and they got 2,000 deaths. So it's, you know, 10% are automatically going to die, um, you know, or whatever the ratio is. Well, if there's 200, 300,000 that have it and only 2,000 are dying, then it puts it in the, in the right perspective. So, but they're not going to tell you that. And just now, just on uh, one of the morning news shows, they're talking about oh, these spikes in all these states, and and we're not on the on the down slope of this, uh, and people opening up too soon are causing these spikes and and all this stuff. No, it's just that they've gotten more tests out there, and uh, testing more people, and finding uh, that there's there's people who've been walking around with it with no symptoms. And also, um, um, a lot of the people who, who have had it with no symptoms, maybe now it's, it's uh, um, worn them down or whatever, their immune systems, and, and so they're, they're going to the hospital sick and stuff. So if um, there's hundreds of thousands more people who have it, who have no symptoms and stuff and is is this just like a bad flu that this is nothing new that it, it's not this this uh, super deadly thing that um, you'll find uh, uh, the ratio compared to those those who get it and those who die is really minimal but they they're not, they're not going to tell you all the numbers and stuff like that because they, they want to push a narrative. They want funding. They want to do all the stuff. And they want to, of course, on the news, uh, they had to throw in something about, you know, Trump and his, his rally in um, Oklahoma. So, you know, they, they play politics with anything. And you have, that's why I say you, you got to step back and look at who's saying what and why. Um, you know, the, the, there's no accountability to these to these news people. None. They can put a false story out for for weeks, going on something, and then if it's proven they're wrong or something, then they have to make a retraction or whatever like that. You'll you'll see one like one little ten second thing on the morning news. Oh, we were we were wrong about this or that. And then they won't go in depth or anything, but they can push a, a false narrative, and um, not be held accountable. They can put out parts of videos. They they can withhold the truth about people's criminals rec criminal records, and uh, you know the details and the like the the shooting in Atlanta. They're not telling you the law.
They're not, they're not bringing up or questioning why this guy did what he did. They just present it as two white cops um, killing another innocent African American. They're not telling, telling you the whole story, the whole truth. They're pushing this narrative that all cops are bad, all cops are racist. They're going to decide what racism is. You will not see them go after to take, take down people like Dave Chappelle and other comedians and stuff who constantly make racist remarks against white people, who constantly do skits that demean white people. That's okay. That's okay to them. If you're going to have a real talk about racism, you've got to stop pretending it's a white-only disease. If you want to call it a disease. And you got to stop using words like reverse racism. Hate and racism goes in all directions. You know, this, this stuff all started several years ago with all these, these, uh, you know, leftist Hollywood people and, and their, their plays and, and, um, all this stuff, uh, demeaning the founding fathers and, and all this type of stuff and everything. Um, and the whole beginning of the country, the misinformation about, uh, you know, oh, this country got rich from, from slavery. No, plantation owners and the slave traders got rich. That wealth did not circulate. And the companies in uh, Europe uh, who bought goods from this, this country and sold them in Europe. They got rich. If all the work is being done by slaves in, 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 in the, all the agriculture and stuff in the South and everything while this is, slavery was going on, for the 90 years that the, the United States existed before the end of slavery, everything before we became a country, you can discount because when we became a country, slavery was on the table already then to be done away with. Because it was no good for the economy of the whole country. And it was on the table that by a certain time, it was going to be phased out And then the, the people who agreed to that in the South, you know, changed their opinion that they shouldn't have to get rid of it. Plus we had the War of 1812, then we had to have a civil war to get rid of it. But it was on the table that we were going to get rid of it. So this idea that the country got rich from slavery no. Certain people in the country and then out of the country got rich. The average person in this nation did not get rich from slavery. Most people, if you were white and in the South, guess what? You were poor as dirt. There was no work to do. They had slaves doing all the labor. So, this idea that all whites are guilty and owe something because of slavery is ludicrous, but they keep pushing that narrative. The wealth of this country and most immigrants to this country did not come until after the World Wars. Do you understand that? There was only, during the time of slavery, there was only about 20 million people in this country. And only like 200,000 slave owners. So you have people who push false narratives. You have people who write books that are false. And then that's taken up as, well, that's got to be academia. You know, such and such an author wrote this book, uh, you know, 
about slavery and this and that, our roots came came out. You know, not, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that how it started with the Spanish and the Portuguese and the African slave traders themselves. Slavery existed long before the United States, in Africa, in the Middle East, in in um, Europe. Slavery didn't start with the United States. Many cultures, in, they didn't have prisons. And if you were taken prisoner during time of war, or you were um, um, you know, a, a criminal or, or, or undesirable in, in your own culture, you're made a slave. If you were, like you have today, all these women having children out of wedlock, they would become slaves. Do you understand? You're not being told everything there is about it. They want to they want to push one narrative. Was the treatment of Africans on those boats coming over here and everything in slavery wrong? Yes, it was. But if you look at, at the religion, it was allowed. But the way the, the slave, the servant, was supposed to be treated as a member of your household, if you read the scriptures. Not treated the way these were. Unless, of course, if, if they were criminals and stuff like that, then maybe that don't count. I don't know. And even if you look at Islam, slavery was, was allowed. The enslavement of, of people you fought against, this and that, was allowed. But also, to get rid of sin, you could free a slave to make atonement. The same thing if you go back and look at the Torah. the whole seven year deal so it was allowed it was the how you treated people made the difference so you know if you're gonna have to have the discussion put it all on the table Let, you know put the real true historical facts on the table <coughs> not some made up stuff not some stuff that's one sided and only and only points hey look it was it was just white people white americans who were involved in slavery cuz that's bullshit and the same thing with coronavirus put the truth out there put the truth out there that they don't know how many people have been infected and how long they've been walking around because for the majority of the population um, your immune system is going to, you, you can have the virus and be walking around with it who knows, maybe you can carry it for your whole life and never get sick from it and then the majority of people who, who do get sick from it it's like a bad case of the flu doesn't mean you're going to automatically die. The narrative that they're pushing. So they, they, they couldn't even make a story about COVID-19 without including Donald Trump. They're politicizing everything. Everything. Every single bit of news that you look at is skewed somehow politically or racially to divide us. And for, for the liberal Democrats to try and somehow hold on to power. They do not care what goes on in the streets if it bolsters their political party. They don't care. They will enrage you and incite you enough to go out and do something stupid as long as they get more power.
And they all know it. They absolutely positively know it. But the way they look at it is you can't make an omelet without breaking some leg or egg, legs. Eggs. Another gaff. Gotta wake up out there. I'm telling you. There's so much misinformation and propaganda flying around. Let's just say other people around the world got to be looking like, you, you, you want us to have that system? Where the politicians will lie, cheat, steal, do whatever to maintain their power. Even uh, uh, cause racial division and, and cause... Um, um, Riots and lunatic things like defund the police. You want pe you want us to have a system where people like that can go to those extremes to maintain political office? You're going to sell democracy with all this stuff going on in the country? With these lunatics on the left doing the things they're doing? All right. Wish you all the best out there. God bless. Remember, go uh, Anthony Brian Logan. And, and you can see the statistics from L.A. and stuff like that. Um, the numbers that you're not being told. It's like they don't tell you about the money system and, and all that and the things they could do, but, but don't. That they, they've been able to do for decades and haven't done in these cities to, to improve them. They've let them go down and go down and go down. So, wish you all the best out there. God bless. Adios.